What's up YouTube? Welcome to another Gadget Pilot video. In this video, we're gonna start a new season of tutorials. This is called Gadget Pilot's Flight School. And we're gonna start from zero for all new beginners in Infinite Flight, starting from zero until we end up learning to fly in Infinite Flight. And I promise you guys, if you do pay attention to these videos, you will get the basics on Infinite Flight. So, uh, I did make a video a long time ago, uh, to some tutorials that were called Infinite Flight Basics Tutorial. Those were quite helpful as I read the comments uh, below from you guys. The links will be in the description uh, just below this video as well. So now we're gonna, we're gonna start making tutorials uh, on global so it's going to be based on global update and and so on so you guys can see the difference between the two tutorials because we didn't have engine start you're going to learn when to start your engines and all all that so for those who will be complaining that i do talk too much in these tutorials i will be talking too much for those who don't want to listen to lots of blah blah then i suggest you guys just try and find yourself some other tutorials probably because I'm going to try and ex explain the theory of infinite flight and we'll be playing at the same time and I might be doing some live streaming afterwards uh, so let's say this is part one of of this tutorial season of gadget, uh, gadget flight school then I'll be making a live streaming just to see if you guys did understand part one so each part will be going with live streaming i'm not i'm not sure if i'm going to do anything on this part for part one because in part one we're just going to see the settings uh, that i use in infinite flight and where to get infinite flight from and all that so uh there's no point of making any live streaming on part one but going into part two and so on because we're going to have some tutorials and some things that we'll be talking about and flying then i'll be, be making some live streaming perhaps we can meet up in an airport and i can see you guys how you guys uh fly and all this so guys stay tuned so this tutorial is part one is how to set the settings in infinite flight settings that i use for playing so this is what we're doing today and let's go ahead and see the app First of all, I'm going to start off saying that you can download Infinite Flight from Play Store or uh, App Store. So you can get it on both consoles, on Android and Apple. So the thing is, this app, you will need to buy it. So um, for those who come in and say they can get it for free from some other websites or hacked or whatever, I do not suggest this because this will cause uh, your online gameplay if you're interested in playing online some errors and you can get in and if you do get spoiled that you are cheating on or you have a hacked device so in my in my case you can get blocked from infinite flight and in this case you won't be able to play I've never downloaded a hacked app, so I'm not sure how this works, and I'm not really interested in saying anything about the hacks in Infinite Flight. The only thing I'm doing right now, I'm telling you about the unique app that you can get from the stores, and this will cost roughly about $5, 5 uh, euros, and also you're going to have to pay extra to get your online gameplay, which you can pay by uh, year, the year subscription or a month of subscription. So um this is infinite flight we can see where you can see on your on the screen right now we're going to demonstrate some things that you can you will get from, with this app first of all i'm going to be talking about the logbook on the left hand side so by pressing on logbook you will be getting all the flights that you have done and and etc so this is my last flights that i've been doing lately uh which you will see your let me just go back here again you can see your flight time 
um, whether your uh, your flight hours and so on and also you can even see um, day night flights for example and also your destination airports and your departure airports as uh, and along there with your aircraft type that you have been flying with so not much to say about the logbooks other major thing that i want you guys to consider is the settings so you guys just press on the settings and sing in front of you is on the general which i have selected and this is what i use to fly even if you're a beginner guys you can still use these settings and i'm telling you without any landing aids or whatsoever you will get uh, the experience you need and you will learn the game even better without the landing aids this is my this is my opinion and um, so if you learn without the landing aids then as you will be you'll be a better pilot in infinite flight in no time so i have the interface timeout at five seconds so this is where when i start the flight then my controls just go on um, just disappear from the screen so when i press back on the screen it just appears again and uh, also here you can see the height status bar i don't have this selected control sensitivity is really important i have it on normal because if you go either um on high or low then it's gonna be if you go, if you have selected high then it will be and especially if you're playing on a mobile phone or smartphone then this will be a bit of a, a problem <clears throat> excuse me uh, my opinion is have it on normal you can use this on your on your smartphones on your ipads on on your tablets or whatsoever what you whatever you all have so i suggest normal i have uh, airport names deselected because i don't want to see any airport uh, names and distance give it a better realistic view from the cockpit and uh, landing aid is off like i said before and uh, other than that guys uh i'm not gonna say much it's, this is just the the major things that i wanted to talk about one other thing that i would like to show you guys is enable for flight link you, 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 for enabling for flight link you can get the position let's say if, if someone is using for flight or infinite tracker they can track you down from there from any from that app they can see your location and uh, your altitude and speeds so i have it selected because i would like that i like that uh, enable help messages this is also a good thing to enable your help messages because um, it, it will give you some warnings if you don't pay attention for example for of speed and uh, heading changes and whatsoever so i do have this selected because i find it uh, a bit helpful okay going to the second task here is live as you can see i have hide airport names on ticked hide airport dots ticked again and uh, automatic airplane download over secular date is also uh, selected and the airport count is on high so i can see i, I can control how many air, airplanes are shown in my live mode so this is high so i can see who is flying where they're flying and if if the aircraft is coming towards me whatsoever whilst i'm flying i would like to see uh, who what this aircraft is so going back down to audio i have everything to fully as you can see on the screen and graphics here is i'm using it depends this depends on your device i recommend a device uh, at about three gigabyte ram and over <clears throat> uh, just to have uh, high graphics for example i'm using my ipad and on my ipad is a four gigabyte ram it can really handle all these graphics without any lag so i have everything to high anti-analyzing on and limit frame rate is ticked this is my settings controls controls guys is basically if you, you if you guys are planning to con to co to connect uh, like a yoke or joystick on on your device then this is where you're gonna set your 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 row your pitch your throttles and whatsoever from their controls okay 
you can even go to uh, you can even say a setup tutorial here and you can it takes you uh, automatically to there you can see the controls this is uh, being placed in by Laura and uh, you can see how she did connect her joystick on on her on her device here and so on so this is how you do use it if you go through this you would definitely get some help uh, on this this is it on the settings right now we're going to talk about the modes that you get on infinite flight once you download it is the flight solo which you will be playing by yourselves there won't be any aircrafts no live so this is just for you guys that do not have live and if even if you do have live you just want to go in and do things on yourself like test your abilities and do whatever you like on solo mode see your landings and whatsoever i do recommend for new beginners to use solo and try and do some touch and goes go back and see the replay and see your landings so you can see how good your landings were and you can either um correct your correct them from there if you're doing any mistakes solo mode you can even here you will get this on live as well i'll explain this in a while once we get on live mode what you do is this is your map by putting by zooming out the screen here you can either you can choose a location that you want to fly or you can go press on the search on the left top on the left uh, top side and you can either type an, an airport that you, you want to go ahead and uh, go to for example London Heathrow you just press on one of the gates here which gate you would like to be parked okay and this gate will be the gate that you have selected here is all your aircrafts by the way guys if you do not if you get the app you also need to buy all most of the aircrafts in infinite flight so i suggest if you want to get infinite flight for live mode then i suggest you get the year subscription because if you get the the monthly subscription then you would have to buy extra on infinite flight but if you buy the the live if you buy the live mode then you will get all the aircrafts for free and all and and everything so i said do really suggest you guys go ahead and get live uh yearly subscription is about 80 euros i think with the new uh, global update a year uh i know it's hard for some people to get this but i mean it's it's really worth it fly online by pressing fly online you can actually um hold on a second let me just go back to my settings i want to try and show what she's doing there we go there we go so playing on fly online and uh, this on this table here you can actually see the controlled the airports for example you can see that this airport here has atc controllers active ground and tower and here is just approach and you can either go fly there or you can do your whatever you like all right buying online gameplay guys you will be getting the serves that you will be playing in for example you can't you, you stuff with casual and training serve and expert serve casual serve is a serve that you guys go get in and you can do whatever you guys wish there's no speed limit there's no there's no atc controllers there's no there's nothing so if you want to go in just for training with other pilots then i suggest you use casual serve uh training serve is is a bit more experienced than casual serve you will get atc controllers but those atc controllers are not uh they they can't ghost you if you're doing something wrong you can't get in trouble if you're doing something wrong they're just there they might not be even professional enough for to be atc controllers they're just there to train in atc controlling uh so 
they just uh like i said it's it's just a step further than casual serve the best certain grade of grade three in infinite flight then you can you can enter expert serve in this server you need to do you need to be a professional pilot in my eyes you need to know the rules you need to follow instructions by the etc controllers because if you don't follow uh, any instructions and you will lose your rank and whatsoever so i suggest you get to know infinite flight you do need to start studying a little bit of um of the in instruction that the etc will give to you and after that you will be able to fly an expert serve without any issues what i'm doing gadget pilot flight school in other parts in future parts that are coming out shortly i will be demonstrating everything about infinite flight so we will be talking about atc controlling even more and we're going to see atc controlling in the game and how this uh works so uh this is what we're going to be doing uh on the bottom here you can see the leaderboard you can see the pilots that are that have been really really active and getting xps each day so this is a good thing that you can even see all this going on and uh, basically this is it for fly online the last is air traffic controller this is what this is the atc controllers uh plays i mean i'm not an expert atc controller because i never uh I, i'm not i, I didn't I wasn't that interested in doing uh, ATC controlling, but if if I if I just want to go in and do some ATC controlling, I could just go in training serve back, and uh, I can go ahead and get a station that I want to start controlling. For example, ground, and uh, they are active at the moment in this airport, so I can go ahead and find another airport and start controlling if I wish. For example, here ground and tower and by pressing ok here then i'll be controlling this airport as a ground atc and tower atc so i'm not going to do this right now guys we're going to see a bit further into atc controls uh in a bit in another tutorial so you guys can get an idea of what's going on in infinite flight this is the global map and you can easily fly from one country to another if, if you do have online gameplay if you don't have online gameplay guys you can't fly from one region to another unfortunately if you're just going to be able to fly in one region like um, we used to have before we bought before global update was released so uh, if you guys have any questions so far uh, about infinite flights settings and whatsoever please do contact me in the comment box below and i'll be happy to get to you to your questions and whatsoever something i didn't talk about much is the aircrafts for the new for the beginners all the aircrafts are listed here and you can see from the a318 you get all the airbus and uh, going down you find other companies as boeing and you can see that all the boeing aircraft that you get in the game bombayer dash eight and uh, other companies as you can see further down you can even get military aircrafts you can get refueling aircraft you can even refuel whilst you fly with the new global update and we'll be seeing this in future videos of gadget palette for now guys i don't want to get you guys uh i don't I, I i'm talking too much i know i just wanted to show you guys the basics and one video down i want us to go on the top right hand side which is right there and you can see the, your username a uh, and also your grades by pressing on the grades you can see all you need to know on when uh from one grade to another and how how much xp or lens you need to to 
to go to grade up to another grade for example from one to two to from two to three and so on until grade number five which is the top grade and uh, your flight hours your xp online flights and landings the landings are always counted on online flights guys so all you, you see here is online it has to be on online gameplay to get all this uh mocked down right guys i know most of you guys do not need to know all this because you you are more experienced in uh, infinite flight but this video is definitely only for beginners that basically are thinking to buy infinite flight and uh whether to to buy it or not i i do suggest you do buy it and it's a very very nice app to use i hardly uh recommend this app one of the bad flight simulators on the market on apple and android uh, just before i go you can also find a few other tutorials here in infinite flight community and uh, you can go ahead and <clears throat> And read and watch some other videos but like i said i do have videos linked below uh from my old tutorials that i did just before global update was released and from this moment and onwards i'm making tutorials based on global update and just i'm gonna get you guys to learn your aircrafts use any aircraft in infinite flight and the major thing is being able to take off and land your aircraft smoothly and safely. Okay, this is it, guys. I hope you did enjoy this video. Um, we'll be, I'll be seeing you on the next Gadget Pilot video. For now, take care, enjoy your day, and do not hesitate to comment below. Give me a like, share this video to other friends that do like aviation, and so on. There's more work to be done. See you guys next. Bye-bye.